All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Montreal. Um, so uh, I guess uh, the city was so excited about XDC that you had a big storm last night. Hopefully everybody made it. Um, I guess we should apologize in advance for all the construction. It's not so bad. We only have another like 30 years to go. So, you know, I'm sure you'll see it again. So um, for those who I have not had the pleasure of meeting, um, my name is Philip Kalaf. I am the uh, founder and CEO of Calabra. Hopefully you all know about Calabra, uh, but if you don't, we're an open source uh, specialized software consultancy, and we've been in business for nearly 14 years now. Uh, we have something like 15 to 20 people here in uh, at this conference, so I'm sure you'll meet somebody from Calabra if you, uh, if you haven't, uh, haven't already. Um, you know, the, uh, the whole graphics uh, a team has always been an important part of, uh, of Calabra. It seems like in the past, you know, 13, 14 years, there's been quite a lot of work to be done in the graphics area. I remember when we started, it was basically X and a few drivers. Um, and uh, we've come a really, really long way since then. And really, when you think about it, it kind of makes sense, right? A lot of the um, disruption and technology we see around computing comes from the, you know, the UI, the user interfaces, the inputs and outputs with the user, and that's usually quite heavily focused on the graphics stack. Uh, of course, the mobile revolution with the kind of touchscreen uh, devices kind of spurred a lot of development uh, in the graphics stack. Uh, so, you know, uh, at Calabra, our raison d'etre, which is basically uh, translates to uh, our reason to be, is to accelerate the adoption of uh, open source, the philosophy, the methodology, and of course the technologies themselves. So I spend a lot of time kind of looking at the open source landscape uh, in different areas and different domains. Uh, and of course, uh, when I look at graphics today, uh, it's actually never been this good. Uh, we, um, you know, we have a huge ecosystem these days, um, especially focused around the MESA kind of project where we basically have open source drivers for nearly all the GPUs these days that you know, are quite performant. Uh, we, um, uh, we, we have a very strong baseline uh, of code. There are good examples where we're able to produce drivers very quickly, uh, like Panfrost is a very good example, where you know, we're basically able to spin, spin up a driver very fast and uh, based on MESA, and it performs in some cases better than the proprietary drivers. So, you know, this is all something uh, for somebody like me who's been around for a long time is quite, um, not surprising, but uh, quite encouraging to see that we've basically reached this point. Um, and, and other areas, you know, like um, uh, compatibility layers between different APIs, we've come a long, long way as well. And some of the work that uh, Valve is doing with, with the Proton stuff, I mean, you can run these Windows games <laughs> on Linux, and again, like, they're performing amazingly well. Uh, so, you know, uh, the projects like Zinc and uh, DXVK and whatnot. Uh, and of course, with Chrono sort of trying to, uh, making sure that we have APIs that we can all use and, and, and just building this compatibility. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, it's quite exciting. I think it's quite exciting time in the, in the graphics space in the open source community right now. And it's great to see that uh, this conference is still going strong. Uh, I think there's like, what, 150 people? Um, so yeah, so uh, so hopefully hopefully it'll be it'll be a good conference. Uh, we're super excited to uh, to be part of uh, uh, of organizing it and, and and sponsoring it here in Montreal. Uh, hopefully we can get more and more open source conferences to come to Montreal and uh, and help out as well. And yeah, looking forward. Uh, there's there's so much to do right uh, between uh, the stuff with XR like you know VR and AR, bringing in a whole bunch of new requirements into that space too. Uh, the machine learning stuff, apparently using a lot of GPUs. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys can uh, spend some time this week to figure all that stuff out and uh, take the next steps. So welcome to Montreal, and uh, have a good time. And uh, if you guys have uh, anything, any questions or comments about anything during the conference, Mark is your guy. All right, thank you. All right, thank you, Philip. Uh, so my name is Mark Filio. I'm the marketing manager at Collabra and also the organizer this year. Uh, it's really awesome to see so many of you showing up to the opening session. Uh, from what I hear, it's usually not that many people coming, so it's, it's nice to see all of you. Um, so like uh, Philip said, oh, and before I start, I, I need to, I know a lot of people are going to be looking at this and saying, 
what the hell, you're using Windows? Yes, I know, we're going to change it later. So we're temporarily using Windows. I don't know if our Microsoft friends are in the room right now, but this is all for you, but we're switching after it to other computers. All right, so I'm going to put up the slide that like half of you have asked me about so far. There's the Wi-Fi. <laughs> By far the most important element. Um, so basically there's a network, the access code. There's a bit of a login situation because it's a university and they have these uh, security protocols to follow. So when you're going to connect, it, you're probably going to get a little pop-up and you know, fill that up or pretend to fill it up and then click and you should be good to go. Um, it also says apparently that a university like resets this every 24 hours. I asked them to see if they can prolong it for the three days. So hopefully you guys don't have to do this every day. But uh, at least today, it's all good. We'll see tomorrow if it's still working, and I'll ask to make sure that it's... Uh, but at least the code is good for three days, so we're, we're good to go. So I'll, I'll just let it up for another minute to make sure everyone's taking it down. Are we good? We're good? All right, let's keep going. Uh, so uh, first and foremost, uh, obviously XDC, where it's at now, couldn't be possible without so many awesome sponsors. Uh, first and foremost, uh, the company I work for, Calabra, which is a platinum sponsor this year. So thank you very much, Calabra, for being a platinum sponsor. And thank you, Google and Intel, for being returning sponsors again at the gold level. We hope that you guys keep going, keep coming back every year. Uh, we couldn't do it uh, without you. Silver sponsors, we've got quite a bit this year, a lot of returning guys, uh, AMD, Arm, Egalia, who hosted and organized last year, NVIDIA. And uh, brand new this year is the Linux Foundation, which is really cool. And I really want to give them a hand, a big applause, because they decided that they wanted to start supporting uh, more community events. And this is one of the first ones that they decided to sponsor. So very proud of that. <laughs> and obviously, like a big kudos to, to Daniel Vetter, because he's the one who went after them and asked them, like, you know, we're still around. You should, should really support us. And they finally did. So it's really cool to see them there. Next up is also two brand new sponsors this year, is the Kronos Group, which I'm really, really happy to have on board. Uh, as you'll see on the schedule this year, um, Neil Trevat is doing a Ask Me Anything session. Uh, it's the first time that he'll be doing such a session, and he's really looking forward to it. Neil, I don't know if you're in the room right now. Oh, hi, Neil. So I'm hopeful that a lot of you guys are going to show up and take advantage of the session to ask all the questions you might have. Uh, be easy on Neil. Don't go too hard on him. But uh, it should be a great session, so I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, Lib Computer Project, uh, these guys make uh, boards such as uh, Le Potato and Le Frite. Uh, is Da in the room? Has he arrived? Not yet? Well, Da, da Xu, the owner and founder of Lib Computer Project, is going to be with us this week. So if you want to have a chat with him, uh, go for it. Uh, which brings me to uh, another point. Uh, Lib Computer, uh, as bronze sponsors, also decided to um, have a little surprise for all attendees. So basically, if you come and see me afterwards, they've given all of you a LeFruit board with an aluminum frame case. Uh, it's a fantastic board that runs with the Lima driver, open source all the way. And then he mentioned to me that it now has the V4L2 M2M codecs in Linux, and uh, for those interested, the U-Boot eBBR. Uh, so I have the huge box of them at the desk, so you can come in, pass by at the break, and pick up your free LeFruit board. So thank you very much, Lib Computer, for that gift. First time ever that XDC has a gift for attendees, so that's really awesome. And then next up, we have this year a, sort of a new sponsor category, and it's Raxa. Uh, if some of you have heard that name before, they're the makers of the really, really awesome Rock Pie board. Uh, that we've been working on heavily, or using heavily at Calabra to work on Panfrost. And the reason I brought them on as supporters is uh, that for every speaker on the main track, you're all getting a rock by rock board with a 16 big EMMC module. So another gift. <laughs> <laughs> so that should be a lot of fun for a lot of you. And uh, as mentioned, it runs the uh, Panfrost driver which is a big, big thanks to Alyssa and Ryan, who are both here this week. And it's thanks to them that we have this fantastic driver finally available. And then you, all of you guys on the main track who are speaking will get to, to play with it afterwards. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, I also mentioned as well here that uh, there's stateless video codecs 
uh, upstream v4 l2 support that's coming really soon so keep an eye on that as well it should be coming in the next uh, little while i'm not sure the exact time frame but it's pretty much done so it's coming so another big hand of applause for for rax i thank you very much all right next up some uh, useful information for the conference uh, as you've seen this year we have a brand new website that's based on indico uh, it's the same platform that's used for our linux plumbers conference and uh, the whole platform is hosted by uh, LWN. Uh, I don't know if Jake's in the room. Is he? Oh, hi, Jake. So thank you very much, LWN, for hosting uh, the platform for us, for setting it up for us. Uh, it made the experience this year quite brought it to a whole new level. Uh, I know a lot of you were surprised that we had a registration process this year instead of a simple Wikipedia page. But uh, at least at least now what was good is having the registration and made it easy to contact everyone, made it easy to mean name tags and whatnot. So then, you know, and a lot of people actually emailed me saying, oh, this, this new site made it so much easier to get approval from our company to attend the conference because it looks professional. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I was happy to hear that. So it's good, good to have. Uh, I also mentioned here to make sure you're subscribed to the events mailing list and to, uh, to follow XDC on Twitter. I'm a big, big, big user of social media, so I'm tweeting nonstop. So I'll be posting updates. And I know a lot of you don't necessarily use Twitter, but for those of you who do, keep an eye on there because I'll be like posting stuff throughout the week. Uh, next up, regarding the layout of the conference center, uh, as you see right now, we're in the main room. We have this whole room to ourselves for the week and for the main track. And in addition, we have the room EG, which is right across the hall. And that room is uh, to use for, the, we have two workshops that are scheduled this week. And if you have meetings, if you have coding sessions that you want to host, that's where you can go. Uh, it's also booked for us all week, so we can use it uh, whenever we want. And uh, last but not least, uh, like you've seen this morning, uh, the breakfast catering is in the lounge area. And it's also going to be split up uh, in front of the BC room here. And there's going to be tables out during the coffee breaks, so you can walk around. You don't have to go all in the same place. So it makes it much easier to, uh, to be spread out and talk to people. Uh, next up, as mentioned, this year, something brand new. And I really uh, want to say thank you to the uh, x.org board for approving this, because that was my crazy idea, was to provide breakfast to everyone this week. Uh, so I really appreciate that you approved my request. So thank you. <laughs> Uh, and as usual, the coffee breaks are also, uh, as they've been for the last few years, they're also catered, there's snacks, and there's going to be coffee all day and, and whatnot. Uh, but in terms of lunch, um, there are multiple options around downtown. The fact that we're near a university and the fact that this campus is actually embedded within downtown makes it uh, one of the universities to have like the fastest selection of restaurants is completely nuts. If you go on Google Maps, you'll see. Um, I also shared a link on an output posted up on the XDC website afterwards, but there's a, an article that came out recently that lists some of the best food and coffee places around the campus. And uh, I mean, I've been to a number of the spots on the list. It's a really good list, so if you don't know where to go, check that, uh, that article. So like I said, it's on the Twitter, and I'll post it on the website afterwards so you can, you can find it easily. Uh, social events. Last night, we had the really cool welcome party, so thank you to everyone who showed up. Uh, over half of you actually were there, which is really cool. Um, and tonight, tonight we have another uh, sort of reception that's taking place at the beer market on Rinalevec West. Um, it has one of the best, according to me, I mean, I like beer very much, but this list is awesome. It has 150 plus different beers from over 30 countries. It also has a lot of good non-alcoholic options as well, so it's not everyone that likes beer, so it's good for all. And as mentioned here, the X.org is sponsoring the first round of drinks for everyone so everyone can attend, and it's a good opportunity to, after especially the long first day that we have today, uh, to take it easy and network and meet everyone. So I hope all of you will come by this evening. And it starts, I should add, it starts at 7.30. It's on the, the agenda. If you look at the program on the website, it's all there. And uh, another activity that we have, um, as a tradition has been going for the last few years, there's going to be an activity on Saturday. For those of you who are staying uh, past the conference, uh, we've organized a, a two-hour walking tour of uh, Old Montreal. So for those of you who have never been, it's really worth it. Old Montreal is really, really nice. And the cost, as usual, is covered. The attendees have to cover their own cost, but it's really, really not expensive. It's a little bit less than $20 Canadian. So there's that 14 US, 13 euros. So it's 
really, really affordable. And, uh, and then after the tour, we're going to stop by for area and drinks and whatnot. So if any of you are interested in attending, I know about like a dozen of you already have signed up, but uh, if more of you want to attend, you can send an email to, to Frédéric. Is Fred the tour guide? No, he's the organizer. <laughs> so you can reach out to Frédéric and add your name to the list. So the, the more, the merrier, obviously. So next up, the program today. Um, we've got a number of talks in the morning, and then... Uh, as you've probably noticed, uh, over the next three days, today's lunch is much earlier than the other days. And the reason being, and I hope to conclude, the university is not going to be unhappy that I'm telling you this, but at 11.15 today, there's going to be a fire drill. So we have to be out of here before 11.15. <laughs> so I had to adjust the schedule. I found out last week, so this is like, and it's like a requirement. They did all the other halls earlier this week and last week, so they're the last building to do. Anyway, so I, I told them I appreciate it. They told me ahead of time. So I adjusted. So anyway, if you guys are like in conversations in the hallway, just make sure you go before 11.15. If not, you have to go down nine floors of stairs. So, you know, I would highly recommend taking the elevator before. Anyway, and that being said, we have like that switch the schedule around a bit. So I have a much busier afternoon than the other days this week. But still, we've got a good breaks and a good spaced out. So it you know, should be good to go. And the day is going to end uh, with uh, a block of uh, lightning talks, which you've already got over a dozen in. So I'm assuming a bunch of them are going to be today, and then the other ones are going to be uh, on Friday afternoon, as usual. Uh, speaking of which, I mentioned earlier we have... Three. We have three? Yeah, I'm scheduling it right now. Well, there we go. So we had two workshops, and now we have three. Woo, breaking news. Uh, what, what's the third workshop? Uh, you don't know? Yeah. All right, well, keep an eye on the schedule. There's a third workshop coming. Uh, I know some of you have mentioned you wanted to do some demos as well, so you can use up the EG room. Um, but if you have other ideas for workshops or demos, like please send them in. We've, we've got room to, to add them in. Uh, same thing for lightning talks. As mentioned, we have a blog this afternoon and a blog uh, on Friday afternoon. Uh, so like during the week, like if you take some notes during your, your track, hallway tracks and workshops, and if you have something to present, send them in. Um, I was told to remind you guys that this, the rules are really strict for lightning talks. It's five minutes and no questions, so we can get as many done as possible. So make sure to, to stick by uh, those guidelines. I'm not going to be doing a lightning talk, but just letting you guys know. <laughs> uh, next on the list, I have to mention the fact that dx.org does have a code of conduct for the conference, and the foundation is dedicated to providing a harassment-free conference. So uh, as usual, this is always up on the website. If you have any questions, you can check it out, or you can speak to one of the uh, people uh, who are part of the committee this year. I have to apologize on the next slide. I don't have the phone number yet because I'm waiting for Daniel Stone to give me the phone number. So Daniel Stone, please let me know what the phone number is. In any case, the four people this year on the member uh, that on the commission are Daniel Stone, right over there, uh, Leo Paul, over there, and uh, Manassi, are you here? There. There you go. And Keith, oh, right there. All right. So if anyone has any issues or sees any breaches of the code of conduct, please reach out to these uh, four people immediately. Obviously, we want to make sure that the conference is enjoyable for everyone and that nothing that shouldn't happen happens. So, all right. I'm posting the uh, Wi-Fi info again just to make sure you guys all took it down because I know a lot of you asked me for it this morning. I'm like, it's coming, it's coming. So it's there. Uh, again, I'm putting this up on right after this. It'll be uh, this presentation is going to be on the program. So if you want to go click and access it, and I'll put the code up too, so you can easily uh, easily find it. All right. So last but not least, if you have any questions or need help during the conference, I'm your guy. So contact me, email, phone, or come say hello. And uh, that's it. I hope everyone has a really really great conference. I'm really really excited to be organizing this this year. So I've been wanting to organize a conference in Montreal for a number of years now. So it's kind of corny to say, but it's like a dream come true. But anyway, that being said, thank you very much and have a really great conference. <laughs>